Hey y'all, Novi here. Welcome to my best settings guide for Dark and Darker. Starting off in your general tab, make sure that your mouse sensitivity and DPI are set to something to where you can cover 360 degrees of angle when you play the game. Currently, my mouse sensitivity is at 0.25 and my mouse DPI is at 800. I find that that works pretty well for me. None of those really matter. Next in audio, you can set that to whatever you want. I'll turn that up to 100 real quick. In your video settings, these are where the actual changes matter. Shadow quality, you could turn down to medium or low if you wanted to. Texture quality, I would leave on high or medium just so the game doesn't look like absolute trash. Post-processing, medium or low would be okay probably. And then for visual effects quality, if you're having FPS issues, you can turn that, that down to low. Full screen will give you the best performance. I have windowed full screen on because I like to alt tab a lot, especially when I'm streaming. Hint, hint, feel free to stop by my stream. I usually stream at nighttime. We'll turn that max FPS all the way up. Screen brightness is starts around like two, I think, and the game looks like absolute shit. Make sure you turn that all the way up to three. Anti-aliasing and super resolution. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I'd suggest turning it onto DLSS. And if you still need more uh, FPS, you could turn it down to performance if you wanted to. If you have an AMD graphics card, I'm pretty sure you get the FSR though. I'm not 100% sure. And the same thing, you could switch it between those two. I guess everything has those, except for the FXAA and Temporal. But anyways, I'd suggest using those two if you have the option. For inputs, there's not really much you need to do here. I like that C is on crouch. I hope that they add uh, toggling for some of these at some point. Uh, but for the most part, Q and E for your skills is good. You could change those to your mouse buttons if you wanted to. Tab is wonderful for in inventory. There's no map to change. So that's pretty much it. I mean, there aren't that many settings yet in this game. So I like how they have it, honestly. For some quick tips, if you're new to the game, if you're not, you feel free to drop down into the comments below and let me know what you think. But if you are new to the game and you're struggling, uh, don't be hit by monsters. Uh, being hit by the mobs in this game will do like half your health in one hit. So it's really important to turn around and walk away. You need to turn around because walking backwards or sideways is slower than walking forwards. So do a 180 walk away when that enemy is about to swing. You can usually, usually get one or two hits in uh, in between the enemies attacking. So once you actually get out with a couple gold, which is totally normal, guys, if it's your first time playing, if it takes you like uh, 10 tries to get out a single time, it's, it's just how it goes. Mobs are brutal. Enemy players are brutal, especially people who've been playing for a long time. And that's just how it goes. If you do get out, try to get out with all the little trinkets and stuff. Those sell for a lot of gold. As you can see, a single trinket could sell for like over 60 gold if you're lucky. And if you, you get a purple, but more likely they'll sell for like around 10. But if you go to merchants and you go to the weaponsmith, 10 is more than enough to buy a much better weapon than your starting weapon. I'd highly suggest find a weapon that you enjoy. Get used to its different moves. I like the longsword personally. You can buy lots of these from a single run. And then I honestly, when I'm starting out, I just buy a bunch of the starting weapons and go with that. And do it until you can start being profitable with those. And once you're profitable with those weapons, go to the armor and start buy buying armor. So I suggest uh, Dark Plate's a huge upgrade, actually. 49 armor rating, and your standard one is 14. Of course, you do lose moving movement speed, so you got to play a little bit differently. But honestly, it's a huge upgrade. Pretty crazy, actually. You can also add uh, leggings as well. Again, pretty cheap. And uh, you'll find a lot of helmets, honestly, and probably boots as well. Uh, but all those, I definitely the dark plate armor is something that I would upgrade to as soon as you get the chance. But other than that, make sure that you're buying healing potions from the alchemist and protection pots when you get the chance. I'd say that protection pots are actually more important than healing potions because they block 20 physical damage, whereas you only get 15 HP healed over a set of amount of time. So, and they're cheaper. So protection pots are actually huge. Speaking of which, I'll buy mine out right now honestly uh, just pop them right before you get into battle with someone and then bandages are good for healing when you're not in combat so buy those if you have the money as well that comes to an end for my basic tips for beginners and also the settings guide i hope you all found this helpful i'm having a ton of fun playing dark and darker i'm so happy it's finally out in early access and that we're not doing it through a torrent or something like that and yeah guys let me know what you think in the comments below leave a like uh, share whatever you need to do and thanks for watching y'all i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll see you next time